Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video of chapter number 10, Boolean logic. In the previous videos, we are done with activity 10.2, question number 1. In this video, we will be starting question number 2 of the same activity 10.2. The question says that write logic expressions for the following logic circuits. This question has two parts, A and B. In this video, I will be doing part A. In the next video, I will cover part B of this question number two. Now look at here. A logic circuit is given to you that is made up of logic gates. And if I see over here, there are three logic gates that are being used. I can write it down like this. You start from your left side and you move towards your right side to get the final output. So when we start numbering the logic gates, we start from the left side. This is logic gate number one. This is logic gate number two. Then move forward. This is logic gate number three. So these are the three logic gates being used in this logic circuit. The second thing you have to do is identify the different gates. Logic gate number one is your AND gate. Logic gate two is your NOR gate. And logic gate three is your ZOR gate. Now you will be starting with logic gate one. So right over here. We have to work for all of these three logic gates in order to find out the final logic expression. So for logic gate one, it is a simple end function between the two inputs. So how are you going to write it? Your input one will be written first, then in the middle you will write the name of your gate and then here input two. So the gate that is being used is your AND gate for logic gate one. It's an AND gate. And if you see the inputs, first input is A and the second input coming into this gate is B. So input A is A and input two is B. So this is the logic expression for AND gate or logic gate one. A and B. Now we will write another logic expression for the second gate. Logic gate 2. If you see logic gate 2, it is a NOR gate. So write down NOR in the center and write two of its inputs on either side. One input is B and the second input is C. So write down B here, nor C. This is going to be the logic expression for your logic gate 2. Now the final logic gate that is giving you output X is your ZOR gate. Or in other words, it is logic gate 3 that is giving you the final output. Logic gate 3, the expression for logic gate 3 will be written as it is a ZOR function between two inputs. The first input is coming from logic gate 1. So you can simply write logic gate 1 as your first input and ZOR is taking logic gate 2 as the second input value. So now finally what you will be doing, the expressions that you have already identified for logic gate 1 and logic gate 2 will be written or will be replaced here. So if you see logic gate 1 has an expression A and B. So write down A and B. Look at this one. This is logic gate 1. Write down the bracket for every input if the input contains like if the ZOR 
has input value that is a combination or it is coming from another gate like end gate so you have to write it in the brackets then it will be a zor gate and logic gate 2 is b nor c so b nor c is written like this in the bracket since it is not a single input like b or like c it is basically a b nor c an operation done between b and c it is your input value so it must be written in the bracket so this is going to be your final output or we name it as x because look at here in your picture the final output is x so x equals to a and b zor b nor c i hope that you understand the whole working please see the next video in which i will be doing part b of the same exercise so that your understanding will become more strong stay tuned stay connected and do not forget to Subscribe the channel.